Hello everybody, this is Locke Minecraft, and today I'm going to be going over the plugin Techit Customizer. You can run it without any other plugins, but you're probably going to want a permissions plugin if you want to do exemptions to bans. Now, Techit Customizer basically allows you to ban Techit items. It's similar to the plugin No Item and Modify World. So you're going to want to run your server after downloading both of these, and you're going to get a Techit Customizer folder in a moment with a config file in it. Um, here we go, Tech Customizer Data, open the config fo file with Notepad++. Now, there are four kinds of bands. Usage bands, so no right and left click. Ownership bands, no holding the item. Placement bands, no placing. World ban, it will scan through the world and remove these items every so often. Crafting ban, you can't craft it. Um, real quick, in the settings up here, um, this means protect surface from explos explosives, means you can't use explosives above like on the surface so above ground um, remove this will basically block certain UU matter crafting recipes enforcement worlds is all the worlds you want tech it customizer to um, take action in for instance if you have another world that you've created with multiverse and it's not listed here then tech it customizer will not enforce any bans there um, say if you want nether to be like total anarchy no banned items you could just remove it it's pretty straightforward um, usage bans basically you can do ev you can't do anything except keystroke commands. So what that means is, for instance, the philosopher's stone you can't right click, which means you cannot change blocks with the transmutation feature. But you can hit the C key and open the mini crafting table. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, to add a usage ban, all you do is you hit enter, four spaces, add a hyphen, then the block ID. So say we want to ban. Uh, all the build craft um, machines, so most of them have the item ID of 250 from being from, from right clicking with them. Then you want to add a colon and then whatever item ID you want. So we can add one, for instance. And if you want to ban all of the little IDs after this, you just do an asterisk. So for now, we'll just do an asterisk and then you put why it's banned. So we'll write build craft machines are too epic. There we go. Um, ownership bans, um, they are formatted the exact same way but it's just a different kind of ban. As you can see, I already demonstrated how to do it up here. If we go down um, to placement bans, um, if you want to add these, you can, but they're not really necessary. If you have a, if you have um, a what is it, an ownership ban, you don't really need a placement ban. But all you're going to want to do is remove those two brackets and the space before them. Hit enter, go four spaces in, and it's going to be the exact same format. So we're going to ban stationary lava. And we're gonna write lava is cheaty. Um, if I can spell, that is. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It's the same format. You do the same thing for world bands. World bands basically scan through the world to find the block. Um, it's the same format everywhere. It's pretty straightforward. I don't even feel the need to demonstrate crafting bands, but I will just because. Um, it's just four spaces the item ID, the metadata, or whatever it's called, and. Uh, than the reason or just the name if you want. Um, these are all the default bands. If you want to run a server with no band items, you could just remove all of these and add two brackets here. And you could have no band items if that's what you wanted. Or you could go with their default list, which is pretty extensive. And there's uh, a lot of fixes for most of the ones they have. But um, yep, for instance, this would be no band items. Um, that's how you use Tech it Customizer. Um, the basics of it anyway, but now we're going to get into exemptions. So we're just going to add one ban. It's going to be on dirt. So you can you can use it to ban non-ticket items as well. So we're going to ban all dirt. Dirt is dirty. That's why. And now no one can use dirt. So we're just going to save this. Um, and now say we want our donators to be able to use dirt. We're going to need to give them that permission. So we're going to close this and we're going to reload Tech a Customizer. So what you're going to want to type in the console or with a slash in game is reload band items. Now it's going to reload the band item configuration file. Um, then you're going to go to add exemptions. You're going to want to go into your permissions manager, open up your permissions file and say you've got your donator group and they're pretty much the same as your other groups but you want them to be able to use something that's blocked in Tech a Customizer. What you're going to want to type is Tech it customizer dot then the item ID and then the metadata so for instance in um, the macerators case it's like 250 and then a number it's that second number after the colon so you can just put a star here if you want and then you're gonna want to put another dot and then you can put use craft 
place um, all the different bands we talked about own um, or you can just put a star and that will allow them to do everything with it so now if we go into game and the donator group will be able to use this and say we had another group that didn't have this node it would be blocked for them so that's how you use tech customizer thank you for watching bye